Gulasa, once again, I'm going to add one more detail to this. I'm actually, I didn't check this out yet. I had an idea. I'm going to stumble around and see if I can make some smoke coming out of this cup here. Um, I'm in the render environment. It's just rendered, resed up. Um, this is where I got my little stacking cups. This is part four of this uh, video. Uh, I may trash this if it doesn't work. Um, but this looks pretty cool so far. I've got the uh, stacking cups. I've got my cup with my liquid and cream uh, label decal on there. Embossed logos. Made myself a little um, napkin and spoon. Uh, so first, let's go back to our design environment. So I got this idea if I make a... Um, I don't know if I can make an object with no material, but put a decal on it. Uh, so I'm going to make something that looks like smoke coming out of here. <clears throat> uh, so first, uh, let's just create a new... Um, cylinder and my cup is still centered which is good so I'm gonna choose that plane and the center and just kind of draw out and pull this up there's probably enough uh, features on here so which I'm gonna yeah that's fine I'm gonna hit that and I'm gonna double click this whole thing double click click something's not happening so usually if something's not selecting properly go check out your selection filters um, and in here sure enough I've um, I turned off something for some operation so there's the double click I used to have to restart every time because I'd lose I'm like how come I can't select something and I'd restart and it would give me all my <clears throat> selections again but uh, that seems very tedious so <clears throat> once again, I'm going for something kind of more organic, so I'm going to kind of move some of this around. The idea is I'm going to try to make, kind of like I did with the cream, uh, some sort of smoky uh, decal and apply it around this. And so I want it to kind of billow outward. So maybe this um, section, uh, I'll increase the size of this maybe decrease this uh, bottom so it's kind of coming for well actually I don't know, it's coming from everywhere on the coffee maybe it'll come together a little bit first and then go wide um, it's always good to look at some reference when you're doing this kind of stuff but um, uh, let's make this go wider still as it dissipates I'm going to cut the top of this off, so it's just going to be this kind of close up here. Uh, finish that form. Now here's a question. Can I fill something with no color? Appearance. Um, and it, or it might be that I uh, do something like a glass or something too. So fabric. Um, I thought maybe I uh, could say no appearance. Glass noise, what does that do? Nah, that's going to be kind of funky. So as I mentioned here, I am going to be stumbling around trying to figure this out live. <clears throat> Leather and cloth, maybe in the um, miscellaneous or other. Oh, we got air. That's going to do it for us, I think. So let's double click on air and see what, so no absorption distance, close this. Um, let me see if this actually even renders up. So I'll go into design, Ooh, I'm sorry, render. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I don't see it, which is what I want because I want the labels to appear, not the, uh... so stop that render. Um, I'm going to go and, well, let's just do it. You go into Photoshop and kind of like I did the cream, I'm just going to make some little wispy objects and do some swirly stuff on it and, uh, make that a PNG with a transparent background and apply it to my little shape here. This time I think I want to turn it, uh, transparency down too. So, um, so new. 
don't think the size really matters at this point, uh, but I do want to make sure that I've got a, um, a transparent background. So I think I'm going to add a layer here. And I'm going to change the background color just so I can see because I'm just going to be doing white stuff. Um, okay. So I'm just dumping some color into the background. I'm going to get rid of it later. But like I said, I just it's easier to see when you're working on a white. So first first step is just some kind of lines and maybe some of these are and then I'm going to uh, use my uh, liquify brush because that gives me some kind of cool effects and yeah, I forget that's in uh, filter liquify <clears throat> and I used this swirly one last time and I think if you hit the right bracket key, you can kind of make it a little bigger. And so now we're going to just give this some <laughs> it looks like a little face. I guess this at least uh, not quite understanding what, how this is working, but Maybe, uh, let's see, that is swirl, pinch and zoom. That should be a good one. Brush size, pressure, rate. Let's push the rate up. All these, sometimes there's too many damn options. Load, um, view, blah, blah, blah. That go a little slower. Sure, if this is quite what I want, but I want some of that kind of cool swirly, swirliness. It keeps making these blobby things. <laughs> well, this is interesting. We'll see what happens here. Get those coming down. Let's get this guy, scoot him over. up here. Can get this to swirl around some more. Ooh, what the? I punched right through. Uh, so, okay this. Oh, shoot. I drew on the wrong layer. Damn it. Um, I might be able to take make my selection. Uh, I just selected some of the yellow and now I'll select Selection. Let's try a magic wand. Yeah, that's better. Um, Similar, that's what I'm looking for. Select similar. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so that hopefully is that's all the yellow. I'm gonna delete that. Uh, so now I actually don't need this layer. And I've just got this. And it, it, I noticed the other one was kind of harsh, so maybe, um, maybe what I'll do is uh, blur this a little bit. So filter. Blur, I like the Glossian blur. <laughs> Give it some soft. Um, and maybe I'll go and do one more swirliness on this. Uh, also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, kind of airbrush erase some of this so it's kind of goes light and dark. So uh, here is my eraser. Is that the eraser? Looks like an eraser. I'll choose a brush. Do 
take a soft airbrush and pump this up with a bracket key, not the bracket, whatever those square looking bracket things are, um, and turn my opacity down. And I want to kind of start seeing through this a little bit more. If you turn your opacity down, you can't go too far in one stroke. Again, I'm just trying to get some variance. <laughs> Fade that top out a little bit so it doesn't... <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to work. Uh, so liquify one more time, 3D filter, liquify. And the idea here is if I if I liquify it some more, it'll change some of the um, the uh, the blur factor. So some of it will be tighter and um, and it won't look so uniform. All about the realism here. All right, let's be done with this, okay. So now I wanna save this as a PNG, save as, um, save to my computer, Fusion Tutorial, Photoshop, I want PNG right there. That will keep the transparent background, save, okay. Now let's tab back over to Fusion and see if we can apply that label to this kind of weird object here. So I'm going to go to uh, this thing here, which is my decals, and select my image. And that was the steam. And I'm going to select the face, which is this thing. Ooh, looking cool. You can see it's a little bit opaque. Um, before I go too much further, Oh, I got opacity. I didn't know I had that. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna turn that opacity down. And I actually want this to go all the way around this thing. And um, let's see, which way did I draw this? I think the orientation is supposed to be like this. I'll scoot it over. And again, I made this air, so... Oh, this is... <laughs> awesome! <clears throat> uh, let's go down... We want this kind of subtle, so, and it's um, it's actually picking up highlights on this, which probably it wouldn't really do. I'm not sure if I have any options to deal with that. Um, it's what I want is to um, let's see if there's anything under decal. So under decals in this folder is the um, uh, so edit decal. Yeah, I think it's the same stuff, so we'll just deal with this. Okay. And then we got, we got this little cream kind of coming in here. I'm going to um, uh, eventually make a little cream picture that's going in there. But let's see what this, let's just zoom in on this. Uh, get our spoon in there. A little bit of the steam coming off. And hit render. And again, this may take a little while to res up, so I'm going to stop this, and I'll post the um, uh, the final image as the uh, thumbnail. But already, I'm kind of seeing what I wanted to see, so this is intriguing. And I and I see that um, in the uh, where the bright highlights are coming, it's kind of dark, and then it's going into the um, uh, the darker areas. It's turning white. So I'm I'm going to actually before I go too much further, I'm going to hit setup and move this just slightly so that that dark is kind of half in and half out. Uh, like, not there, just a little bit more. And I've also got a, a, a uh, where's it called, depth of field on here to give it just a little bit of uh, kind of camera focus. And it, it starts off with like two, which is always too much. Um, and I've got my center focus is, I think, the cream. I just chose that, so it doesn't matter how I rotate this around. Um, 
But yeah, I'm seeing some intriguing results here pretty quick. All right, I'm going to close this and render this up. Thanks for watching. This is Brian Galasso.